Hello everybody, Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. Today we are going to look at the Universal Autoload mod that is coming soon from Loki. He has been working on this for a while, still in testing, but I wanted to show it to you, give you a little bit of a sneak preview of it, because as far as I'm concerned, I've not seen an autoload that is as good as this one so far. So, now if you don't know Loki, he is very well known for the lumberjack mod so we know the standard of his modding is very very high and very intelligent as well at the moment this is only working with base game equipment but he would like to hear from modders uh, and work with them to implement it into additional trailers coming up and how they can uh, embed it into their mod before it's released in addition to that he'd like to hear also from anybody making uh, production points and uh, custom pallets uh, and work on a way of uh, making sure that there's a uniform way of adding pallets to the autoload trailer which won't require numerous uploads going forward. So, right, without further ado, let's give you a little bit of a basic overview first. So I've got myself a small tractor here uh, and a trailer um, and we'll run over to some pallets that I've got lined up over here. Now like I said, it will take all base game pallets. It will take some custom pallets at the moment, but not all. And again, he's working on that, but also big bags and things like that as well. So what happens is you pull up to your pallets. If you pull up your menu here, there's a few options available to us. You've got the option load type all. And if you press Y, you can scroll through these. So you've got Euro pallets, Pioneer pallets, big bags, liquid tanks, which is IBCs, uh, big bags again potato box because we are running dazed seed potato mod as well at the moment so it's picked up that there's a third party uh, mod installed as well and put those pallets in and back to loading type all there now the other thing you can as well do is change your side so by pressing U, you can switch between left and right side for unloading and loading and quite simply after that all you need to do is press the R button and there you go, pallets onto your trailer and also you'll see that the straps are automatically put on. You can undo and do those back up using the L button as per normal. Now to unload, you just need to press the I button and it will unload them on the same side that it's loaded them from. So again, I could load these up now. I could switch the side to right and I could press the I button and it will unload on the other side. So nice flexibility there. Now I'm going to switch that back for a second and I'm going to unload again because it's got another nice feature as well. Now if I jump out of the tractor, engine not running, I can walk up to the trailer and you can see that the trailer is listed at the bottom of the menu there. So we can see the Welga DK115 trailer and you will also see the option to start loading. So I can load my trailer from outside the tractor. I do not need to be in my tractor to load the trailer which is a very nice touch and again unload as well now if I press I now though while I'm standing here I will get a warning message unloading area is blocked basically I'm standing in the way of where the pallets would be so if I step to the side here and press the I button again it will unload them very nice and that works with the trailer unhitched as well so if I pull forward here and go back here we can still load and unload so a very nice feature if you want to leave a trailer parked at one of your production points and gradually load it up until it's full. Uh, really nice touch. Now, while we're on the subject of full or not full pallets, let me show you another little uh, tip with this, which is quite nice. Let me just connect the trailer back up. And as we drive over to somewhere else on the map, you'll see here uh, loading filter. There is another option. Uh, and you press O and you can load filter any or full only. Now I'm going to demo this over here. Uh, you can see we've got some egg boxes here and we have got four full egg boxes or four full egg pallets and then two that are half full. So if I jump back in here, now if I press the O button so it's on full only and load the trailer, you will see it only takes the full pallets. Now if I unload those and I switch O to uh, loading filter any and press the R button again. Not only does it take the full pallets, it also takes the half full ones. So a nice touch there. And we can unload those again. 
Now, if we jump in the truck here, this is Ben Camper's Dodge, by the way. I'll put a link to this in the description below. So we'll just pull up here. This is the Berkman trailer. Again, you can find this in miscellaneous. This is a base game trailer. And I hit the R button. There we go. Three seed boxes loaded up and nicely tensioned down. Very nice indeed. So that works really, really well. Again, I to unload. Very simple. Um, again, it works with production outputs as well. So if I pull over here to the serial, I'm going to switch sides now. Make it easy for myself. Now, look, that one was a little bit too far away. Now, I will say the unload on each side is roughly one and a half times the width of the trailer you're using. So if I press R now, it will load that up. Now, you see how it's put it not central. You can sort that by unloading and reloading. So there you go. Nice touch again. Also, same here. We've got our tomatoes. Let's try those. Loaded up nicely and ratcheted down. Unload again. And again, just to prove that we've got this as an option, I have got some beer. And this is from Jigging for Walleye's Beer Production Point. So we've got some Budweiser's here, so third party uh, production mod that you won't find in the mod hub, so obviously only available for PC. But I did want to show that it worked with these as well. Again, just to show we can do this out with the vehicle. I press R there, and there we go. Loaded up with beer. Nicely done. Right, let's unload that again. Next up, some big bags. Again, like you can see there, I've loaded only three there because the others are too far away. But if I roll this closer, we can collect some more now. There we go. Again, it's missed one. So unload, reload, and it's taken all the ones we need. So again, positioning, important when you're doing this, but there you have it. Okay, let's try it with a low loader trailer again. Using the base game Mack truck and the base game Demco trailer, we're going to try another third party pallet, and this is the seed potatoes from Dazed's Potato Pack, which I have reviewed already. Video link in the top right hand corner there. But let's load up some seed potatoes. Very nicely done. And again, you can see that one out with the loading zone. So we will go and Pull in a little bit closer to collect that. Now, you can also take more than one type in one go. So there we go. We've now got three seed pallets there. And again, we will pull forward. Let's take some cereal. Now, it's also checking, even though it's saying unloading left side it will check left and if there's nothing there it will have a look on the right as well which is a nice addition so there we go cereal added let's pop some tomatoes on as well let's get a little bit closer there and finally grab a few cases of beer And there we go. Now you can see in the bottom uh, right hand corner there, it lists what you've got loaded up on your trailer as well. So you can see the actual weights you've got. So that's a nice touch as well. So there you go. That's a full trailer of lots and lots of different stuff. Now the final piece of the jigsaw is to show you the Crone Curtain Side Trailer which is parked over here. So let's jump into this, because this is this is nice. I really, really like this. So we've got some big bags here. Let's, let's roll up here and have a look at these. So what we can do is roll up here. We can open the side. It's going to be right front, Z to open that. So this is the base game trailer. No additions to this trailer. 
um, sides are open there. Now I can hit the R button. And there we go. Big bags loaded up. And again, I to unload, R to reload. Now what else is nice about this is um, you can still do this from the outside as well. So again, I unloads, R reloads. If I get in, let's close the side up. We are going to take this over to where we have a forklift. And I'm going to show you something very cool with this as well. Now I can do this with the side open, but I'll do it with the side closed to start with. We will park this up and we will open the rear doors. So if I press X, there's the rear doors open. Now if I jump out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these IBCs. And there we go, an IBC. What I will do is roll up to the back of the trailer here. And when it gets to a certain point, let's make sure I've lifted it up high enough. There you go. It takes it and auto loads it directly into the trailer for you. There is no unload option at the moment, just load. Just makes that nice little bit of an immersion. Let's grab the second one. Just to demo it again. Roll up to the back of the trailer. And drop that in. Nicely done. There you go. And again, if we jump back into the truck here and close the back doors. Let's open the other side. Just to prove you can unload it from both sides. There is your big bags and your IBCs. If I press the I button now, it's unloaded our liquid tanks only because they are selected. If you see there in the menu, we've only got liquid tanks selected, so let's load those back up. Let's change our output to all. Now it should unload them all. And there you go. Again, let's hit Y, just for fun. And let's just load up big bags. Ah, uh -huh, there we go, there's our big bags going in, but not our IBCs. And again, we can hit Y to go back to liquid tanks, and that will load those up as well. So the flexibility in this is fantastic, really, really good. So there you go, folks, a quick preview look at Universal Autoload. I really, really like this, and I have to say, zero lag. Uh, zero issue with load loading lots and lots of pallets up. It also removes that um, strange phenomenon with holographic pallets where it kind of projected a picture of what the pallet looked like in FS19. That's gone. These are legit, authentic uh, items that are on the back of the trailers so that you can lift off one by one if you want to. So really, really nice. Now, let's just load these up. We've got some butter and some cheese here from the dairy. We'll take those. And again, we'll just run them over here because when you get to a cell point, you can just roll over the cell point if you want to get rid of them. There you go, selling them. Again, an issue with some of the auto loaders in 19 was that they didn't unload the product very well. Um, now, some of those are out with the unload point. So if I press the I button now, they will unload themselves. So really, really nicely done. It's... Um, very 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 good uh, can't wait for this to come out I'm gonna re caveat what I said at the start of the video this is a PC only mod it can only be a PC only mod because it uses scripts um, there's nothing that the modder can do about that that is just the way things are um, if you're frustrated by that I'm gonna have to lobby Sony and Microsoft to get them to change their policy on third-party scripts on consoles unfortunately it is just the way it is. Um, but for PC players, this will be, when it comes out, an absolutely brilliant addition to the game. I think it's going to uh, revolutionise how you handle pallets and moving things around on your maps. So, from me for now, thank you very, very much to Loki for letting me have an early look at this. I know he's still working hard to refine it and develop it, so keep your eyes peeled for more information as it comes out. But uh, fantastic job. Really, really impressive. Okay. 
from me for now farm some guy thanks very much for watching and i will see you all again very soon bye for now